Hi guys, I hope you're all doing okay. I wanted to talk to you about my weight loss today because I have lost like 18 kilos and um, I mean it's been it's been a journey. There's definitely a reason they call it a weight loss journey. Um, I'm not done losing weight yet. At the moment I weigh about exactly 80 kilos and when I started I weighed 98.8. So I was, I was heavy. I weighed a lot. I, I'm all, I've always been heavy. Um, I probably always will be heavy. And uh, with my height, my BMI says that I should weigh 60 kilos. Um, if I lose 20 more kilos, I feel like I will look like a skeleton. Uh, I don't, I don't mind being bigger. I like being fluffier. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to talk to you guys about what I did to lose weight, the positive sides and the negative sides of losing weight. Uh, because yes, there are negative sides. Not mentally maybe it, or stuff like that, but there are actually some negative side, sides that I have found. Um, and I also wanted to talk to you guys like about motivation, what I did to get through it because it is tough and like I said I'm not done yet I still have some more kilos to go um, but yeah there are like a few sides to losing weight number one is you have to eat less calories than you use during the day that is just how it works if you eat 3,000 calories a day and your body only used 2,500 of them you're not going to lose weight. That's not how it works. And um, so to eat less than I use, I have counted calories. Um, I did stop for two weeks to see how it went and I went back to it because I missed it. It was easier. Um, I don't know. I like, I like counting calories. It makes it easier. And I always know if I can have that piece of chocolate if I want to, if I can have that piece of cake compared to if I just feel like, eh, I didn't eat that much today, and then I actually ate 500 calories more than I actually thought I did. So, to make it easy, I used a calorie counter. Uh, the one I use is called Lifesum. It's a Norwegian one, I think. Um, I heard about my fitness pal and all of that, so for you American people, that might be the, the way to go. Um, so, I counted calories, calories. I drank a lot of water. I drank about half a gallon to thir three fourths of a gallon every day but I have an active job I stand all day I walk around all day I lift heavy things all day so I need a lot of water and for my calories I eat in between 1200 and 1400 a day um, depending how much I work because if I work more then I might go over my regular amount because my you can choose what activity level you have and I put mine on a lower one that I actually have because I'm stupid and I want to see progress faster and the calorie counter I want to lose one kilo a week which is 2.2 pounds and um, yeah I just I wanted to do that because it makes it easier and also when I started I had a very low level of activity I worked out one uh, about an hour every single day or five times a week uh, but now that I work full-time I work five or four four or five times every week depending what shift I have and I am also getting back into exercising so that brings me to the next one which is exercise you don't have to exercise to lose weight because as long as you eat less than your body uses you will lose weight you don't have to exercise so if you are very, very heavy, or if you are very, very lazy, or if you just don't feel like exercising, or if you can't afford to go to the gym and you don't want to walk outside because the rain is pouring down and stuff like that, it doesn't matter. You don't have to exercise. You can do, do this by eating less and eating smaller portions and eating healthier and drinking more water. You can drink tea, you can drink coffee instead of soda. You can drink seltzer water instead of soda. If you do really, really, really crave soda, have one glass of like cola light instead of a bottle of regular coke everything helps and 
when I started, I didn't want to lose weight fast. I wanted to do this slowly. I started losing weight in March and it is now August. So it has been five months and I have lost almost 20 kilos, which I'm very happy about. Um, because if you lose weight too fast, your skin cannot contract into its original position when your fat is, when you're getting smaller. And another thing that I have done is to actually take before and after pictures. I took before and after pictures um, when I had lost 5 kilos because that's when I actually thought about it. And then I lost, took before and after pictures when I had lost 10 kilos in total. And then I'm going to take uh, new af before and after pictures in not too long. And I can actually insert the ones that I had. And the biggest difference for me, you could see in my back, you can see my like um, love handles getting smaller, my thighs were getting slimmer, my butt was definitely a lot smaller than it was to begin with, and also my like uh, handles right, right here on my ribs were definitely getting smaller. And uh, my clothes weren't fitting anymore, my bras doesn't fit anymore, I bought a new bra yesterday and I actually lost two full sizes of boobs, which sucks, but that's how it goes. I used to be a 38 double D and now I'm a 38 C. Uh, I can also use 36 now that I couldn't do before, so I can use 36 D. Um, so that's my like size now is 36 to 38 C or D, but depending on the brand. And I don't know, I like having my big boobs, but you can't do anything about it. I like my butt too, but it's gone now, pretty much all of it. So I will. St like, I will start to build up what I want to build up, like my butt and my thighs, and I can do stuff about that. I just want to finish losing weight first, and then I can gain more weight where I want it later. By muscle and working out and stuff like that. But like I said, just for losing weight, you don't actually have to, like, work out. You can just eat less. And it makes it a lot easier because, you know, it's how it goes. I feel like this video is totally rambly over everything and I should have probably made a list of what I wanted to talk about, but I didn't, so it's too late for that. Um, and another thing is I want, I, my first goal was to go from 98.8 kilos to 75 kilos, which is about like 23 kilos. So from now I have 5 kilos left. And I also set myself some part targets. So when I reach 90 kilos, I got to buy myself a new phone. And then I'm going to London in um, on the 31st of August. And that was kind of a little goal for me too. And if I weigh under 80 kilos, by the time I go to London on the 31st, I could get a new tattoo. And I'm missing like 300, uh, 300 grams to weigh under 80. So... It'll happen. I'm getting a new tattoo. I'm getting a new tattoo when I get back. And um, it's all about the small goals because you will not lose 5 or 10 or 20 or 15 or 25 kilos in one day. That's not how it works. It's going to take time and it's going to need patience and motivation and inspiration. Find people that lose weight that you look up to, that you like following on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube or friends of yours. Anything to make you um, keep motivated and stay motivated. And uh, it's the same with everything else. Like you do Project 10 Pan or 15 Pan so you know that when you're done you can go out and buy makeup again and you buy less than you did before because you know that you don't want to get to that same stage again. And it's like with this now, like, like I said, I count calories, but I don't count calories in the weekend. So Friday, I might count calories on the, in the morning and then in, at night, I don't. Saturday and Sunday, I don't count calories either. And then I do count from Monday to Thursday and I weigh in on Fridays. And my progress has been a little up and down. I, at the most, I think I lost almost three kilos in one week. Um, and at the, like, at the slow pace, I gained like 2 kilos in a week because I was slacking. And that's just how it goes. I don't think this was a motivational video at all, but I'm going to share it with you anyway. Uncut. And just let you get whatever you want out of it. 
losing weight is hard, but when you start and you feel motivated and you go to the gym and you work out and you do all you need to do and you feel things like you feel your tummy getting tighter, you feel your clothes getting looser, it's just the greatest feeling ever. And um, I mean, I've watched a ton of uh, weight loss weight loss journeys on YouTube to see what other people were doing, like healthy snack ideas, new recipes, and everything that you can do to make you want to do this, because it's hard. And I don't even know. I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you at least got something out of this, that it wasn't a complete waste of your time. And um, I will probably make another one of this when I'm done losing weight and have a little bit more organized and like it should be so i'll see these guys later and i hope you at least enjoy this video a little bit and uh at least let me know what you think if you thought that was like super rambly then please let me know because i want to know that i like um like criticism is good if it's actually useful for something right so yeah um bye